September 11, 2001, tragedy struck the United States. Over 6,000 people are killed or missing in New York City, a field in Pennsylvania, and at the Pentagon. Within moments, brave fire and rescue crews, police officers, and medical personnel were mobilized into action. Many risked, and some gave their lives to help others. As this tragedy unfolded, various organizations answered the call to give support and comfort to these brave men and women. One of the first to respond to the Pentagon effort was Manassas, Virginia-based Christ in Action. Founded in January 1982 by Dr. Denny Nisley and his wife Sandy, Christ in Action rushed to join in the relief effort. Within an hour of it starting, we started making phone calls, and within 14 hours, we had permission to be on site, and we started everything rolling. We worked through the night, finished loading the trucks and, and brought them down, and by 10 o'clock in the morning, we were down here, and we had all the men, and we began setting up. We put up the tent, which is it's a massive thing to put up, and we were cooking supper that evening. Denny brought his massive organization with him, including a 48-foot trailer with a 30-foot stage complete with a state-of-the-art sound system, an 8,500-square-foot tent that will seat 1,100 people, a portable kitchen, and an army of volunteers from local churches and across the U.S. All of this to help feed and minister to those rescue workers around the clock. People who are working here have been through some very traumatic experiences. They're ready, they're ready to talk, and I'm ready to listen, and then I'm ready to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christ in Action Tent was proclaimed by the Joint Chiefs of Staff as the official dining area for the relief workers. The amount of food that was prepared is astonishing. Over 60,000 eggs, more than 5,000 pounds of sausage and bacon, hundreds of pounds of potatoes, more than 5,000 pancakes a day, along with gallons of syrup. And this was just breakfast. If the workers could not come to the tent, meals were delivered wherever needed. Christ in Action's abilities to serve goes beyond having a kitchen and a tent to dine in. And we have a generator inside of our truck that uh, is enough to supply electricity to three full households. And we have uh, substations, sub-panels we run to different areas. We're powering all the electricity for all of this area of the recovery system. Christ in Action has the power to run a relief area and helps others find relief in the power of God. Your organization has come in here and made a home away from home for everybody. Uh, not only to the military, but to all the Red Cross and Salvation Army and other volunteers that are here. Christ in Action received much praise and numerous commendations from the military, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and in Congress. In a tribute placed into the Congressional Record by Congressman Frank R. Wolf of Virginia, he said, In this time of need, Christ in Action found strength in its unyielding faith and has displayed an outpouring of love and warmth to countless relief workers from across the country. Christ in Action answered a call to service before the call was even sounded, and in doing so, gave us a glimpse of the spirit which will carry our nation through this trying time. I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. The king will reply, I tell you truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me.